Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those in between, welcome and welcome back to 21st Century. Uh, first and foremost, let me start off by apologizing. It's been a long year. I know we flops, but uh, you guys need to understand that um, creating this thing is, is not easy, um, it's not as easy as it may look. You know, it's a lot of time and effort that goes into this, but yeah, for those who stuck around and really supported us and like wrote for us, uh, we truly, truly appreciate it. And to make it up to you guys, we brought the best TikToker essay has to offer. This girl runs TikTok with her eyes closed. Her music feeds the soul. Girlfriend of the year. <laughs> Everything. Like she, she takes all the boxes. Today I am happy to welcome to the studio for the very first time. Sima. Hi guys. How are you? <laughs> Good thanks to yourself. Guys, Seema is not, she says she's not as she is on the phone, so bear with her. Uh, we'll try to unlock her. She's a bit stiff right now. But, like, be uh, excluding, like, everything that you do, right? Because there's so many things that you do. And, you know, we applaud you for all these things. But take that away. Like, who, who is Seema at home? Like, how do you, who are you? What do you do, like, besides social media and all these nice things? Seema is just a 21-year-old who has chores like everybody else, right. who has schoolwork to do like everybody else, assignments. I study at Varsity College. Oh, you study? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm doing my third year and um, in public management. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm just a normal child at home. Well, I, <laughs> I am not Sima. Like the way you push your TikTok, I, I didn't think you had anything else going on. I was like, nah, this girl, she's really invested in, into her craft. But yeah, I think learning that is, that balance is very, it's very impressive to see because not many people have it. You can see that one of, True. but yeah, with that being said, uh, let's take it back to graduation, right? It's high school graduation. What's in your mind at that point? Like, did you ever think TikTok was in the pictures? Like, oh, nah, I want to go to uni and that's that. Um... Okay, after I graduated from high school, um, the next year, my mom was like, dude, do you want to go to school? And I'm like, yeah, why not? What am I going to do at so home? So your mom asked you. Yeah. Damn. She's like, well, <laughs> Shout out to moms, yo. <laughs> Shout out to moms. She thought maybe I was going to take a gap year because I'm not a fan of school. You right. Know? So she just thought, okay, maybe she's going to take a break. Or She's like, do you want to go to school? Or I'm like, nah, let me go. So I applied late. Yeah. Right. So we just decided, okay, let me just go to Varsity College because it's still open, applications are still open, you yeah. know. And I went to VC. And yeah, it was it was a, an amazing three months, you know. It's like we knew there was going to be COVID. Uh -huh. We made the most out of it. And after that, I never saw my friends again because I don't go to school anymore. Mm -hmm. I study from home. So, so you have that option. Yeah. Okay. So I do my, I wake up whatever time, do my schoolwork go on to my TikToks, go about my day. If I have a gig, I go there, I do that. Shoots, I do that, whatever it is. And come back home, eat, make my TikTok, sleep, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, TikTok was not a thing for me. Right. This is when? Early 20, 2020. 2020, okay. Yes. Early 2020, my friend is like to me, dude, why don't you try out TikTok? Right. And I was like, why? He's like, nah, did you have a party, bro? Like, you would yeah. actually, <laughs> you would actually do the most. And I was like, ah, dude, I'll think about it, you know. And okay, June passed, August passed, um, October. I was like, okay, let me try this TikTok thing. Mm -hmm. And I made one video. It had like five views and three followers. And I was like, what am I doing here? <laughs> like, yeah. what am I doing here? Yeah. What do you do? So I watched people's um, videos and I was like, okay, this is what people do. Okay, let me follow that. So I did that, didn't work out. And then I made this one video where um, it was like a skit type thing, right. you know, with this, um, you know, the iPhone ringtone, the, yeah. the I'm a piano version. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I did that and said, when your boyfriend calls you first after an argument. Right. And it boomed. Right. And I saw, okay, people are enjoying this. Yeah. Let me stick to this. So I started making skits with like a piano video um, songs. And yeah, I started booming from there. So yeah, TikTok was not a thing for me until late 2020. So when you first started, like you, you low-key had to like find your way, like, okay, this is what I'm good at. 
and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So now with TikTok, like with with that, you know, seeing that sh- your f- your first time was not as successful, what made you be like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna invest my time, I'm gonna t- invest my efforts until I get up there. It wasn't even a thing of let me invest my time. It was just like I was bored, you know. I just wanted to see how far I can take this thing. Right. You know, I just wanted to see, okay, what actually booms on this app, you know. Yeah. So I kept trying different things, you know, I would sing, I would do this until this one video boomed. And I was like, Oh, okay, this is what people like. Let me, you know. So that was your that. your breakthrough. Yeah. So from there you're like okay, sharp piano, skits. I stick to we're this. On. Uh-huh. Okay. So now what Obviously, like, TikTok is a very competitive platform. Like, everybody's hopping on it. People are, I don't know, like, people find a way to, um, like, reinforce their profession into it. Mm-hmm. So, like, what made you stand out? I'm really funny. No cap. <laughs> you, you are really I'm funny. I'm really funny. But, like, many other girls are funny, too. Um, true. Yeah. Um, my facial expressions. Right. They they stood out a lot. People are like, yo, it's that girl with the facial expressions. You know, every time they see me, I'll be like, oh, huh, huh. they're like, do that face. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> I'm not on TikTok, you right. know. In person. But yeah. They'll be like, do that face. And I'm like, no. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. But yeah, um, it's just my facial expressions, you know, the creativity. Like, I put so much thought into my videos and I make sure that the caption matches whatever I'm doing. Right. You know, I, I make sure it's okay. People relate to this. Yeah. You know, I want my people to be like, hey, oh, this has happened to me. Or, you know, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I'm just a relatable content creator. Do you have any acting background? I don't, actually. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Because I don't know, but like you, like you said, like your facial expressions, like, and things, you make your videos alone, right? Yes. How? Because now there's angles, there's your script. Or like, how do you do it? Okay, firstly, ring lights on, right. put it there, you know, yeah. you set your timer, you know, to wherever you want it to be, you know, okay, sharp, it's going to stop here. You think of, okay, you listen to the sound, you hear, it's okay, this person, you imagine how this person would look saying this, yeah. or how this person, you know, so you just, okay, let me work around that, give it a try, shoot, if it's not working, try another face, okay, this worked. You have to exaggerate here and there. You have to, you know. So it's just, it's, I don't script anything. I don't write any. I just listen to the sound maybe once or twice. And I think, okay, this is how I'm going to do this. There, face like that. Okay, Mind you, Okay, look, what if now you record, you record, right? Uh-huh. Now you go back to check um, to check the footage and like you forgot to change your clothes. I forgot to change. Yeah, I'm sure like sometimes like you have two different characters. Oh, ah, that has happened actually. Uh-huh. And people are like, Bruh, you weren't wearing glasses on the other part. And I was like, right. oh, <laughs> damn. Because <Yeah>, <laughs> I, I always think of that as well. Whole thing. Yeah. I wanted to delete the whole thing. But I was like, Shh, okay, let me just, you know. Yeah, but it happens, man. But I always make sure that, okay, what was I wearing on the first one? Okay, you know, I make sure that my things, ever since that day, when people were like, Sima, you weren't wearing glasses on the, oof. I was you like, You made okay, sure, yeah. I made sure. So, yeah. So now considering like all the pros and cons of like, um, being at, at the level uh, that you that you're at right now, what can like keeps your focus? I don't know, like if you are monetized on TikTok or how that works, but like what made you keep going? Considering like you know, there's obviously like a, a downside to being in TikTok, I suppose, but also like there's obviously like benefits, you know, sponsors and you know all of these good things. So like weighing out both these things, what made you be like, okay, you know what, I'm still gonna go through with this? I enjoyed it. I really. I really enjoy doing what I do. Um, I enjoy seeing my people laughing, you know. Yeah. The the laughs keep me going, you know. The the comments, like just seeing someone say, yo, dude, I had such a bad day, um, and then I came on TikTok and I watched your video, you know. That, that makes me so happy, right. you know. And it just keeps me going. So, yeah, and obviously, you know, the brand deals, you know, um, yeah, that's what keeps me going. Damn, I thought maybe like there's a bigger picture, like you're trying to, but like to just to hear you're doing it for Not people. Not even, I'm just trying to build my brand, you know, with TikTok. I'm trying to, you know, be one of the best content creators in SA, right. you know. I just want to put my name out there, you know, put my name on the map. So, okay, let's, let's, let's do this. So now you beg, you bag millions of views like it's nothing. Um, what are some of the craziest assumptions or... Um, in your windows, if I could say, 
that like you've read from your comments or you or you heard from somebody that you're just like, oh, guys, you're pushing it. Pardon? What are some of the assumptions or innuendos that like you've heard that you felt like people are just now pushing it? Because obviously, like some comments that you can take, you know, kiss up. But like, what are some of the comments that hit you? Like, mm-mm, here, yeah, mm-mm. Hmm. People saying you behave like you don't have a boyfriend. You know. Why is that? Things like that, and I'm just like, what do you even mean? How does someone behave when they have a boyfriend? I mean, should I now change my content because I'm cuffed? Right. You know, should I now start acting normal to please my boyfriend or not to embarrass my boyfriend? Right. You know. My boyfriend understands what I do, you know. Mm -hmm. He asked me out knowing exactly what I do. So why must I now change my content because, hey, hey, I mustn't embarrass my boyfriend, hey, hey. You behave like you, you're you not a girl. You behave, ah, come on. What do you even mean? Right. You know, those are just the little comments that just annoy me, but... So between, between you between you and your boyfriend, like, there's, a, there's an understanding that this is what you do. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever feel like... Okay, you know what? Um, I'm done. Done with? Like, just, not even just TikTok. The whole package of being an influencer, if you do consider yourself being an influencer. No, I've never, I haven't gotten to that point. Ever? You know, ever. Nothing hit you like, okay, guys, I'm done. Nothing. No worries. I would have stopped <laughs> if that happened. No way. You know? No, I'm not saying like giving up, like just like the thought that comes. I think we all experience it. We're just like, nah, maybe this is not for me. Because like with me, with the podcast, so many times like i'm glad mm. i have a jared uh, and a g who you know like they tell me straight up mm. like bro you there keep pushing you know but like it has happened several times i'm like you know what maybe it's just not it let me go back to school i haven't reached that point yet that's crazy some of the people who played a pivotal role in the person that you are today industry or not industry but like some people that really played a crucial role into like who you are um my friends, number one, they pushed me. Like, they know ugh, if something doesn't work out for me, I give up on it. I'm just like, ugh, whatever, yeah. you know. And my best friend would push me like, dude, relax. It's going to pass. Like, relax. Mice this. Just carry on, you know. Just do. Carry on doing what you do, you right. know. And uh, my friends, my parents only recently. Mm -hmm. Only recently. How's the, take me there. How's the conversation with your parents? It starts... <laughs> oh, wait, let me ask. Do your parents understand what you do, like being an influencer? Now they do. So they didn't? They didn't. So you had that sit down, okay, mom, dad, this is what's going on. Yes. And they understood. So Lead last year... me through year, it. I'm your dad. Let's go. <laughs> last year, um, my parents weren't very... They were very, okay, you said you wanted to go to school, so you must study, you must do all of this, you must yeah. do your assignments, you know, as if I was not doing them... Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, last year they didn't really understand what I was doing until the money started coming in. Right. Oh, okay. Of course. And then of they're course. like, oh, okay, this thing makes money. <laughs> right. So, okay, yeah, they, they wanted to sit down with me and talk to me and ask me, okay, so what exactly do you do? And my mom didn't take this thing seriously until her friends were like, you know what? Your child is going to be big. Right. They, they would see me on social media. Like, they watch my things, you know. Mm -hmm. They watch my videos. They follow me. And one of my mom's friends was like, dude, your child is actually a superstar. Like, are you aware of that? Yeah. You're living with money in that house. Literally. And my mom was just like, oh, okay. You know, and they would show her my videos. She wouldn't really, yeah. But she would ask me, okay, did you get a gig now? Like, she would ask me those little things like, oh, okay, what are you doing next? You know? And I'm just like, no, I'm doing, because I wasn't really interested. She wasn't interested at first, you know? Yeah. So I wouldn't really tell her my things. But now it's a thing. Like, you know, she's even doing my 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 she's even signing my contracts she's you know she's hands on now yeah finance you know so jay uh, they didn't understand at all until the money started coming in until the friends started saying yo your child is making moves out there you guys yeah. don't even understand you know so yeah they they get it now they how did get you it. how did that make you feel i'm really happy you know what i'm saying like prior to them understanding it was it was very defeating, right? It was, it was, because I would always want to stay in my room, make my TikToks, you know. When they asked me, what are you doing? And I'm just like, uh, making my videos. And then I go back to my room, 
you know, I didn't want to chill with them in the lounge, you know, because they're going to want to talk about this thing. They don't even understand it, number one. Yeah. You know, they don't even, like, when I leave the house, they don't care to ask, like, where are you going, you know? Yeah. um, Can we drop you off, you know? Only now when they see the money coming in, they're like, yo, can we drop you off? Like, what are you doing now? Yeah. Dude, it's just <laughs> like, come on. But I, I'm, 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 I'm really happy now. Like, I'm, I'm at a place in my life where my parents understand, my boyfriend understands, Jay, I'm happy. So how did, you, how did you escape that feeling then? Because like I'm sure there's um, a lot of viewers right now who are in that position who want to become content creators, um, YouTubers and all these things, but like they just don't know how to have that conversation with their parents. How did I escape? Yeah, how would you advise someone to like step out of that like misery, if, you, if I could say? Just do what you love. It'll pull through for you. It will. Trust me. Do what you love. It'll pull through for you. You know, your parents will start understanding when they see money. You know, black parents. Yo. Yo. Hey. They're going to understand when they see money. Yeah. When you just give them an allowance, say 1K, 1K, take. Uh, out of the blue. Blue make him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they right. just, just carry on doing you. They might not understand you. They might not. You know how parents are. Yeah. You know, but I promise. Just carry on. Do not give up, child. Or else. <laughs> so now you're doing... It's TikTok. It's YouTube. It's promos. It's IG. It's... I don't know. Are you on Twitter? No. Okay. At least not Twitter. So it's all these things. When does it hit you that you're like, okay, sharp. Let me see what else I can do. Like, okay, sharp. Let me drop music. Where does that come from? That... You know, this guy, he said to me, you know, I want a vocalist. I need a vocalist. For one of the song, and my friend is like, my friend can sing, so she referred me to him, you know, and we started working. So this guy tells me, okay, this is your song, nah, mm -hmm. do whatever you want with it. I'm like, away. That time I was still on Boma 30k. I'm like, away. We make this 30K song. 30k what? 30k followers. Followers on, on IG. Instagram. So it's an old track. Yeah. Damn. And then we only dropped it this year because there were like some complications. Yeah. Yeah. So we made the song away. Um, we're like, okay, I saw I ask, when are we going to drop this? He's like, nah, I still have to send it. Go Samro. I still have to do these Samro things. I still have to, you know, so many things. And I was just like, oh, okay. Until I forgot about the song. Yeah. Early April, he's like, okay, dude, we're going to drop the song. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, away. Are you still interested? I'm like, yeah, I'm still interested, you know. We dropped the song, Shab. You know, the hype is there, you know. People are excited for it, you know. Hey, now all of a sudden, the song has dropped on my Spotify. Guy is telling me, okay, you're going to start getting money, like royalties from when? June. Right. June passes. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> July. Yeah. Nothing. But I kept quiet about it. I, I want nothing to do with that song. I don't want to lie. It's your I don't song want, It's not my song anymore. They they said what what they put their name featuring Sima right. when I was told it's my song. You get what I'm saying? But your voice is there. Is it like a way you can I don't know? I was told it's my song. Now all of a sudden I'm featuring. So it it was kind of tricky for me, but I was like, oh, okay, we'll let it be. I don't really care like that you mm -hmm. know i'm not into music like that anyway you know right. it's never been a thing of okay let me make music no no but then no see my that song was nah no <laughs> that song was hot like i don't understand it was hot yes but i mean we move on to better things now you know things that make money with people who are not scammers <laughs> you know <laughs> Wait, this convo was it before the song dropped or after the song dropped which one the convo of payments before it dropped and the thing is, last year he told me, Sima, this is your song. Right. Ne? We were driving to go get food. He said to me, Ayo, this is your song. You can do whatever you want with the song. Right. I'm like, oh, away. You know? Now I'm thinking, okay, what, what am I going to do? You know? Stugu, stugu, Sima is featuring on the song. Was this not my song? <laughs> you know? And right. I think they took advantage because um, I had a high following now. True. You know? Yeah. I've grown so much. So promo-wise, everything was going well, you know. So they thought, uh-uh, 
we're gonna make a lot of money with yeah. this let's just you know add ourselves so, yeah. so I'm like yo okay guys when I saw featuring I kept quiet about it I didn't say I'm only talking about it now mm-hmm. you know so Jay, certain things you just nice them man just you know move on with your life like didn't that song kind of like um, attract people like maybe people came to you like yo look let's work or Cooper deals Cooper yeah uh huh she wanted to feature on the song and I said she wanted to her, feature on the song or yeah. make another song with you feature on the song okay like you know the remi- remakes of it or whatever yeah and the guy's like to me nah don't feature um Cooper now the spotlight is gonna be on her wada wada we trying to you know um keep the spotlight on you you know let you go uh, first stories dog stories Bro, I feel like and that would be like, a, a deadly duo because also Cooper can sing really well. Exactly. You and her, it's, it's raps. But I was just like, you know what? Okay, I, you know, I understood his point of view, but when he said featuring Sima, that's where he lost me. Yeah. That's why I was like, okay, no, what's happening now? Where did you draw your your, in, your inspiration from with the music? Because like I'm assuming you didn't think you would ever make music, but now this opportunity comes because of your 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 gift. Where do you kind of like find your inspiration? Like, nah, maybe you should go with this type of energy or with that type of energy. I'm not into music. So like, how did you record then? I recorded because I had to record. I had already g- agreed on recording with them. I told myself, okay, I had to mentally prepare like, okay, now I'm going to be in front of this thing and I'm going to be singing, yeah. you know? So I, I mentally prepared for it. I was like, okay, let me just do it because I have to, you know. If this booms away, kudos to me. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, no flop. I really don't care, right. you know. But, yeah. So it was never music, in your agenda to is, blow up? Mm-mm. Pardon? I'm saying it was never in your, in your agenda, like, to blow up musically. No. Okay. So, like, okay, on that note, since, like, speaking about scammers, you ever have guys, <laughs> you ever have guys, like, hit you up on some, yo, let's work? Once the like um, contact details exchange, just all of a sudden, yo, can I take you out or such vibes? No. At Never all. Never had that. So every guy I hit you up, it's strictly business. Mm-hmm. No way. There's one who's been saying like he he tries to make a conversation. And I'm just like, can we keep it professional? Cause you came here for work. Right. Let's let's keep it that way. You know. And it's like to me, no, I was just trying to, you know, get to know you better. No, <laughs> it's okay. Let's stick to what we're doing. You but now, doesn't that, this. like, ruin the... the it, it doesn't. He's still talking to me, you know. We're still working. Everything mm-hmm. is good, you know. So, at least he understood. There's people who will not understand. There's mm-hmm. others who will. But I told him, can we just stick to business, Jay? So, yeah, he understood, and we're good. What are some of the things that you you had to find out for yourself like about the media industry that wasn't taught to you like you just got there like okay shop i'm here i'm big i'm famous but i didn't see this coming or this is how people act or this is how i'm supposed to present myself and so on um good or bad good or bad you know when i go to the mall i go to the shops or whatever yeah I wear my normal sweatpants, you know, my normal sweaters. I get there. People want pictures. Oh, there was there was this girl. She's like to me, yo, you don't look like a celebrity. Hey, boy. <laughs> do you consider yourself <laughs> a, a celeb? Um, no, not yet. When do you think it's going to be like, okay, certified, I'm a celeb? When everyone knows me. Everywhere I go, everyone knows. People know you, me. though. I know they do, but... I want everyone to know me. When I walk in a room, everyone's like, oh, Sima. Right. You know, I must be like, do you know her? No, I don't know her. Who is she? You know, yeah. that's when I'll know that I'm big. Okay. When like everyone knows me, you know. So this girl's like to me, you don't look like a celebrity. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. You know, so I, I didn't know. Maybe I had to present myself well. I had to dress proper. At all times. You know, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, I also didn't know about... I'm getting monetized on TikTok until like recently, you know. Um, I would ask creators like, okay, so how how do you get um, verified? No one would tell me, you know. Right. You know how people would be. No, you just um, just keep pushing, you know. You'll get there. They'll verify you in J. 
out of the blue. They don't tell me anything. Right. And I'm not trying to nag them and annoy them and be like, okay, tell me this, tell me the tricks. How do you do this? How do you? I had to figure shit out myself and it was tiring. But I feel like people in the industry, like you kind of like, I don't know, help you help each other. Like when someone Mm-mm. is nothing. They only help you when you're on their level or above them. Oof. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's the truth. They only, you know, want to associate themselves with you when you're on their level or you're above them. And that's that's a that's a chat for another day. But je, I, I, that's what I noticed. You know, yeah. when I had with my um 35k on TikTok, you know, they would have these get togethers at Mall of Africa, yeah. you know, and I'd be like, Why didn't you guys invite me? You know? Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. I was worthy of being, you know, in the TikTok the squad. Circle, you know? Yeah. And they'll just laugh it off you know brush it off like ha ha you know right. you know but now that you on i don't know i hit 100k 100 i hit 100k uh-huh. and they still doing these meetups and i'm like and i'm like i think when i hit 100k that's when my ego came in that's where right. i started mising you know this this thing of them having their own chillasses or whatever it just hit me like you know what did Actually, you don't need these people. Yeah. You got to 100K by yourself, you're on your own. Shop, let it be. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, when you see them, it's going to be a hi, how are you? I love your work. Away. Hi, how are you? You're doing amazing. Keep it up. Yeah. But friendship wise, unfortunately, no. If yeah. we do build a friendship, kudos to us. If we don't, that's cool. So, like when there's this link up, it's like it's just we're shooting them out type shit. Yeah. Yo, you guys have a good way of showing us that you guys are really, like, get along. Because when I watch videos, <laughs> I'm like, yo. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I find pure joy when I see young people winning. Like, that's where my happiness is from. That's why. This is, the like, the whole purpose of the podcast. Like, just having young voices, you know, saying things that you say. So, I don't know. Like, seeing or hearing what you're saying is kind of like, oh, damn. Maybe it's not as real as people pretend to make it. At, with other people, I feel like... The creators that were there before us, they formed this friendship and this bond that no one else can break. And when we come and we try to, you know, be friends with them, we just feel out of place because they already have that bond, yeah. you know. So, see, now we're going to get there and, you know, it's, it's, it's not fun. Yeah. It's really not fun, you know. I'm not saying I don't ever want to chill with those creators. No, I would love to. Mm-hmm. But I just I just don't want to, you know, be in people's spaces like that. Right. You know. If if they do invite me to maybe one of their things, I'm definitely coming. Mm-hmm. You know? If they don't, they if don't. If they don't, they don't. Right. Yeah. I mean like on a brighter note, like what are some of the things that you're actually um grateful for that um that you, you found in industry? I'm sure like you went you became big, you saw, okay, nah, this, I don't like it, this energy, I don't like it, but, like, getting there in that same note, it's like, what did you feel most grateful for? Yo, oh, my supporters, bro. My supporters. Yeah. Yo, those people pushed me from the beginning. Like, my first account, um, it got banned. And my people came through for me on the new accounts you know we grew together you know they they followed me on instagram i grew on instagram the brand deals are coming in because of these people right. you know the money is coming in because of these people uh-huh. you get me so i just show my appreciation by giving them the best content you know yeah. making them laugh making them smile you know that's that's what i'm so grateful for my people but like also like with girls especially because a lot of girls between 18 to 24 you guys are really popping but like you guys are really popping how do you manage handling so much attention because now i'm sure like you're i don't know is they are they dms in, in tiktok no like, unless you guys are following each other then you can you know DM. right so yeah there's tiktok there's ig there's all these things like how do you manage to like handle all this amount of attention or do you even handle it or you just like nah I post and I don't 
I post and I respond to each and every comment. I, I can. See, man, I'm finding that I'm finding it very hard to believe. No, with um, and I made a video. I want to check how many comments you get. No, check on TikTok. Well, no? I don't have TikTok though. Okay, let me show oh, you on my TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, I made this video telling my people that I'm struggling to respond to everyone. Right. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. I'm just going to like the comments. And I hope they'll be okay with that yeah. because they're so used to me responding to everyone, you know. Yeah. So I don't want them to think, oh, now that she's grown, she's changing, or you know. Yeah. No, I explain to them, hey, oh, this is what's happening. I grow by the day. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And je, my comments reach my 600, my 900. I cannot respond to everyone. So the least I can do is like every comment and just write a little message to them and pin it, you know. Right. Yeah, and everyone understood and everyone is okay with that and I'm happy and they're grateful that I actually think of like I think about them and I, you know, consider their feelings. Yeah, you in know? a way. Yeah. So yeah. Um, who who would you say? Like when you watch these stuff, you're like, nah, Lona, mm mm. Like they make you shake, like they're really good at what they do. I, I On can't TikTok. I can't I can't say his name though. T- tedious or something I don't know wait let me look for him please T- do D- yes it's tedious yeah he is yo he's insane please he is so funny and we both lip sync so it's like oh when he yeah. lip syncs this sound even Primo 19 Primo, inc- Primo's the goat bro, though he's Primo, incredible Primo's the goat bro I don't know he, he yeah you see those two yeah oh, gosh I watch them and I'm like, why didn't I think of this? This is, but yeah. nah, man, they they doing the most. See right. those two, yo, I look up to them heavy. But Primo, 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 I don't know, man. Yo, <laughs> Primo he's is on a, another level. He's, yo, bro, it's like how how do you not like Primo? Let's start there. His energy and everything. Honestly, but like, don't you you TikTok <clears> like <throat> have um, collabs and <laughs> they do. You, why don't you approach? I mean, like, you mentioned you like Primo. Why don't I approach? Yeah, I feel like when I meet them, then I'll be like, hey, yo, let's sh- let's make a video. You know, I've right. done that with Uspogushe. You know, Uspogushe and I have made videos together, I have made a video together. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, th- I feel like okay, when I see them, it's gonna be a thing of let's shoot a video. You know, right. I-, I don't want to. You know, let's 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 think of this. Let's make the no. Koto is not that deep, hey. I know it's not that deep, hey, but I'm another thing is that my content is way different from other creators. Yeah. You know, so I don't want them to now. Ish, now I have to teach them so much. I have to. Ah, it's very frustrating, no, and I'm like not patient. Some, someone on your level, though, someone that understands the work. Primo, yes, definitely. I, I wouldn't mind, you know, but I'm just, I, I so have people. <laughs> bro, like, do, do people. it for the people then. Because, like, I, yo, bro, just imagining it, it's going to be crazy because you're already good at it. And then you have a whole Primo. A whole Primo. Together. Damn. Bro, come that on. would be insane. Like, that's that it right insane. there. Primo, if you're watching this. There's your camera there. Speak to Primo. Primo, <laughs> it's shit, bro. <laughs> no, nah, Primo's the goat. So now with with YouTube, how's um did you kind of like feel um how's the the transition between like TikTok to YouTube or that? with YouTube? I heard that it makes money, and I was like, yo, let me go, mm-hmm. let me go make some videos. But so, you don't even post, though. I know, but my subscribers are growing. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, Nje, I don't know with YouTube, ne TikTok. I, I get to have fun. Yeah. You know, I get to do me. I get to, you know, enjoy my own space. Now, YouTube is a different story. I literally have to be Usima. They, right. They the have real to, you. Yes. Yeah. They have to see my real life. They have to see me wake up in the morning, brush my teeth. Guys, I'm going to see. Guys, I'm going... Oh, it's so tiring. Right. It's so tiring. So I, I left YouTube for a while um, because that that was just not my scene. Yeah. But I want to push my YouTube, actually. I, I want to push it now. For, I'm ready. For the business and or for you actually ready to face the music? I'm ready to face the music 
and the money. <laughs> it's like how good does it you pay? Because I see man, like every week it's a new, a new gang influencer, it's makeup Hello. artist. You, you know, you know what motivated me? Uh-huh. My boyfriend getting a car. I know. <laughs> there, I was like, bro, is this YouTube money? <laughs> right. Damn. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's the one thing that really pushed me. Like, hey, oh, dude, you should actually take this thing seriously. Right. You know. Yeah. So yeah. Man, yeah. I'm I'm actually glad you brought it up because. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I'm not. I don't really watch your boyfriend's content. I watch like podcasts and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like that video, when I saw it, I'm like, I need to watch this because, like I mentioned, seeing young people win because like he's 20, I believe. Yeah. Seeing young people win, just I was like, bro, bro, you really just bought a car. Dude. See someone else buying an apartment, like like they really did that. That thing is so motivating. Like I was, sh- I was so happy for bro. I'm like, bro, not only did you buy a car, but like, do you know how much inspiration you've just. Dude. Like created for others. Dude. You Yo, know? it's crazy. It's crazy. And for upcoming YouTubers, they were all commenting like, hey, oh, dude, you actually motivated us, you know? Yeah. And I was like, that's dope. Like, that's dope. I'm also motivated myself, dog. Like, I'm just like, yo, that's yeah. crazy. And like, for you, it's like, it's your man, so like, it's, it hits. And I see it face to face, and it's like, yeah. yo, I see it firsthand. It's it's insane. What was your first reaction when, like, he pulled up on you, like, yo, listen I thought it was away. lying <laughs> I thought it was a prank I was like dude please just stop with your pranks he's like yeah. no for real I got kind of like okay and when he got home he went to the garage and then he's like um, there was no car there and I was like where's the car yeah. and he's like yo baby I was just joking about the car haha <laughs> and we laughed about it I'm like right. ah dude I knew it I knew it yeah. and he actually parked it outside and he showed me the car. He's like, yeah, you knew what? You knew what? I'm like, yeah, oh, right. okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, was, I was so happy for him. Like when I knew it was real, yo, I was so happy for him. Yeah. I mean, as you should, man. That, that was just a beautiful thing to see. Man, man the youth is killing it, guys. No. <laughs> the youth is taking over. I, I, this morning, as I was doing my homework for today's show, mm. I was like, I should just hit a quick pause and watch this thing that Tato and Bailey dropped. Mm. Um, the, a YouTube and some something like that. Where like they went to Cape Town, it was like a YouTube house by mm-hmm. and bro, I watched that, I'm like, that is what we need to see. The production that went behind it. You could see like this thing cost money. Mm. You know, and doing it for like you said, for the fans, you know, for people that support. And like we just need more of this. Like we have you, we, bro, like I don't I don't think you actually I think you know, but like I don't think you really understand how funny you are and like how much you make someone's day. Like someone watch you and like you embarrassing yourself for <laughs> other people's benefits. And it's just it's beautiful to see. So um with that, if um we could reverse time and take you back to your gradu- um to your gradu- graduation day, what would you do differently? High school. Yeah. Metric last paper. Where's your mind at? What would you do differently? <laughs> I'd study harder. <laughs> <laughs> I'd study for what, harder. For matric or uni? For matric. Okay. My 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 papers. Hey, I it wasn't bad. Right. You know, but I I would have studied harder. You know, and uni, uni, uni. It's another chat. <laughs> Let's get into the time. What's up with uni? Like, also, now I'm trying to get inspiration to get into uni because I look at you guys and Jay busy stressing, posting on status. So <laughs> I'm like, ah, I never want to suffer. Hmm, uni. Just I'm in a private institution, so they spoon feed us, you right. know. So it's not as hectic as it as people think it is. You know, it's not like public institutions. It's not. Yeah, so uni is okay, man. School is school. It will never be fun. It will never be school is school. Yeah. You know, but just make sure whatever you do, whatever paper you're writing that day, make sure you write it until the ink finishes (laughs) and you make sure you write the right answers because you don't want to regret it at the end and not graduate when your peers are graduating. Mm -mm. Please, I don't want that stress. Speaking of graduation, what are you going to do when you actually get your degree? Hmm? What are you going to do when you actually get that degree that you, you work for? When right? do I get it? No, what are you going to do when you do get it? Oh, when I do get it? Yeah. Nothing. What? <laughs> so it's just going to be there in jail? 
um yeah it's just gonna be there just to have that certificate you know just to show good okay i studied in, in writing need to in your rights guys you know if things are not working out for me i hit the office mm-hmm. you know i go work for past john <laughs> Yeah, I go work for past journey. Things are <laughs> working out for me. As long as I know yeah. that I have that certificate. certificate, I'm good. But otherwise, things are going well for me, man. So, yeah. so far, your eyes is straight, like tunnel vision, TikTok, we're going. Yep. Opportunities that came from TikTok. How good, how good do they actually look? Yo, they make money. Look at your numbers. I might as well start a TikTok, guys, because <laughs> we're broke, eh? <laughs> okay? we um, I've worked with Showmax. Damn. Worked with um nice cafe v coffee now i'm working with coke sure and what's this new one you you posted the blue oh the comics yeah that too yeah that mobile comics mobile thing yeah i'm working with that and yeah those are just the brands that i've worked with right. the big brands that i've worked with and yeah i'm still trying to shoot for the stars you know and work with bigger brands you know if you I were given that opportunity for coke, who would and you i choose? got it pardon besides coke like if you were given the the option to choose who you would desire to work with who would you pick top three yo oh. i prayed for coke and i got you it got coke yeah wait and like coke okay before you answer that let's go to coke how does that how does that work did they approach how's the convo how does the convo go this guy, Utiti, he DM me. He's like, yo, we have this um campaign, this Coca Cola campaign, you know, and so forth, wada wada. And it's like, Coke, bro, are you serious? I'm like, is this real? He's like to me, yeah, it's real. You know, he explained to me. So I sent um the contract to my manager. She checked it out. She's like, okay, it's actually legit. Like, right. you know. So we emailing each other back and forth back and forth you know and then i started with the campaign and it only sunk in like recently when i started receiving the coke um stuff right. you know and i was like whoa that's crazy i'm actually working with coke and it's it's cold bro like coca-cola bro yo that's crazy it was insane bro. it was insane like yo bruh i didn't know what to, i felt like i didn't bruh, i didn't know what to do i was pinching myself get is this real and my mom was like, yo, dude, you're going far. And I was like, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's crazy. That's coke, bro. Yo. That is coke. And like, you're like 21. Like, what else could come? So, okay, coke happens. Obviously, the brand deal happens. The check comes in. Th- top three brands that you want to work with. That you're like, I'm not going to stop until I get a p- an opportunity to work with these brands. Nike. Ash. That's every black child's dream, hey? <laughs> Yo, I want to work at Nike. And Fashion Nova. I wouldn't mind Fashion Nova, uh-huh. you know? Fashion Nova is also something big. Yeah. You know? Um, I'm a Tosa. Yeah. See, that 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 one. I'm a Tosa, please, guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that one even hit me. Cause Yo, I'm, Yo. I'm a Tosa is insane. I, I, oh, it's deadly. It's beautiful. Definitely, those oh, three, yeah. The clothes, the concept, it's African. It's just yo. beautiful, man. It just, yo. It's crazy. even hitting me, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's even hitting me. So, now you have the brand deals happening. What's next? And like, you know what's crazy? Even like the way I drafted my questions, I kind of knew this was gonna lead us to this because there's so many things that you're doing that I assume you probably prayed for and you're seeing them unfold. Why do you feel it's gonna come next that you'll be like the shop here, I'm happy. I can settle. When I get invited to events, you know, these big events, the Durban July, right. you know, the summer awards. Uh-huh. I, I wouldn't you know, I'd be very, very content and happy if I would get that, you know, get invited to these events just to show face. Right. You know. That would be very big for me. I'd what what can we expect from you this year? <clears throat> what what can you expect from me this yeah. year? Besides besides the the things that we already know you're good at. Yo, I don't even know. I don't even know. I haven't thought that far. Everything just unfolds by the day. Right. You know, um, I'm just 
guys, everything is just a surprise to me too. When it comes, it comes and I enjoy it with you guys. So we never know. I never think ahead. I just want to enjoy everything as it comes. Right. You know, I don't plan. I, I want to do this. I want to know. I enjoy everything as it comes, you know, and I'm even getting big deals that I never even thought I would ever get, right. you know. So, Jay, everything's a surprise for me as much as it's a surprise to you guys. So, Jay, yeah, just taking everything day by day, I guess. Let's be, I, I want to read something to you because I don't want to make sure I read each word correctly because I feel this is very important. So, there's a saying, right? This saying says, um, one of the most important lessons in life is to have an attitude of gratitude, to understand where your gifts come from and to use them to bless others, right? Because on your last day, you can't take your gifts with you. So what would you say your gift is? And for the main little seamers, right, that are in primary or high school, um, uh, what would you um, like for them to remember you for? When I? So what is your gift? And for the many other seamers across South Africa, what what would you like them to remember you for? I want them to remember me for being authentic, being real, you know. I want them to be self-aware. I don't want anyone who follows me to say, oh, I get bullied at school. Oh, this hurt my feelings. No. I've been bullied on social media. You guys watched me get bullied and you saw what I did. I would change that into content. I would make people laugh through my pain, right. through whatever's happening. Make sure that you're self-aware, understand where you're lacking, work on it, you know, and I just want you guys to live your lives to the fullest, you know. I want you guys to remember me as that Han who would make me laugh on a bad day. I want you to remember me as, you know, that strong hand who will never fold. Unfortunately, I will never fold for anyone. And you mm. guys know that. Preach. <laughs> Preach. You people know that. Don't you stop. Know. Preach. I want you guys to be strong. I don't want any of my fans crying over stupid things like, oh, this girl said I had a, I have a big head. Oh, this girl said I can't just... <sighs> yeah. Who are you mm. you know just enjoy your life laugh about it whatever they say laugh about it grow Kayona, you know je make the best out of everything turn lemons into lemonade Oza. you get me mm. don't stress too much you're gonna have gray hairs and you're gonna have to cut your hair <laughs> 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 But, um, yeah, hey, man, just, I, I want everyone to remember me as J. See, my guys, when you say that name, J, you must have this vision in your head, it's okay, it's that honey that makes me laugh, that makes me happy on a daily, that never gives up, that does not fold. Don't, guys, yo, nyangela, do not disappoint me. Mm. As you grow, primary kids, if you're watching this, please grow up with this mentality you'll go find life i promise you no nah, man those were very very wise words and okay before i even close this i want to ask you something now um, no offense did you cut your hair for content or is this a reason behind it <laughs> no it. so many people are asking this no i did not cut my hair for content guys I cut my hair because my hairline was bad. Oh. Yes. So you have to admit to yourself and say, okay, guys, there's no hairline. Let's start all over. Right. So I'm trying to grow my hair now properly and yeah. not put any chemicals and, you know, yeah. Because, you know, cause like, the thing about is like, immediately after cutting your hair, pa, TikTok, I'm like, ah, for sure she's doing this for, for Conte. No, I'm just creative like that, you know? Yeah. And my people, ah, my people know i know before i get bullied i must bully myself right. so <laughs> i don't want anyone coming for me like oh hey, yo you bald dude we've gone through that we owe that shop so yeah now that's beautiful guys there you have it i hope we we made it worth your while like i said we do apologize it was a whole um a whole long year but we are back 
we are better we brought you guys sima we're gonna try bring you guys more young influences and like young everything else young that's popping right now is gonna be on this video chair um socials where can they find you um on instagram sima dots double e m a h underscore um <laughs> just sima yeah. everywhere is just sima yeah except um tiktok tiktok is sima x underscore x yes but youtube oh youtube too sima underscore x except tiktok tiktok is just sima underscore yeah yeah guys go make sure you check her out on all those platforms she's gonna continue dropping those bangers like she always does um also if you could hit a like on this video subscribe to the channel trust we're gonna deliver um follow us on instagram guys give us 1k mg on 1k we're gonna be good <laughs> and yeah that'll be it for today we'll catch you guys on the next episode